this tool here, some of you will love it. Some of you will not love it. Don't kill the messenger. I'm just here to give you the information. So don't be upset if I tell you what prices are or how many bet raises. Things I'm just, just here to give you the information. This is something that I seen at World of Concrete for the first time. And I thought it was pretty cool. So again, I think some of you will love it. Some of you, but what, what do I have here? So I got a video for you and then I got all the specs, the pricing, and I think it's available now. So I'll try to leave a link in the description below or tag it to the video. Speaking of video, let's just get into the video. I'll let you watch it and then we'll talk about the specs and all that good stuff. Hi, my name is Jake Van Warmer, Group Product Manager here at Milwaukee Tool. What I wanted to walk through today is Milwaukee's vision of redefining the way you use power on a job site. Whether you're using a gas generator in pre-power or using spider boxes in the temporary power phase of construction, both of these solutions come with their own headaches and hassles that impacts the amount of work you can get done. Thinking about gas generators and the safety considerations with storing gas on site, being proactive about the noise and emissions they produce, often, often leads to the generator being placed far away from your work area resulting in lost productivity when you have to walk back to the generator for breaker trips, grabbing packs, or even refueling. All right, let me say something real quick. I'm going to jump in because this is the tool review zone. We review as we view. He's not wrong about that. Being health and safety, dealing with a lot of construction crews. The biggest babies on the face of the planet are office workers. doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. I used to get calls all the time. The generator's too loud, because we always had construction going on. Generator's too loud. I can smell the fumes. It's noisy. It hurts my ears. You know, it was it was crazy. The guys on, on the floor, they were like, love the smell of that carbon monoxide. But the office, the office crowd were a bunch of babies. I'm sure you've experienced this. So what's nice about this is that you can now keep this in the area that you're working. You don't have any fumes. It's going to be silent other than maybe a fan that cools this thing down. The bat rate is integrated, which is nice, but you can also plug this thing in while it's discharging. We'll talk about this more. I'll talk about the, the size of the bat rate and all that good stuff, but let, let, let's continue. The other thing to consider are the pain points with spider boxes in the temporary power phase of construction. Outlet overcrowding, breakers tripping, voltage drop from long runs of extension cords. All of these translate into lost productivity. We knew there had to be a better way to provide power on the job site, which led us to the development of our new Roll-On Power Supply. Roll-On offers the best power for the toughest job. Milwaukee comes out with the best names for stuff. You know, we, we named it Roll-On because you can roll it onto the site. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's just, I love their names. They're so basic, but they work, whatever. It offers instant setup and eliminates the hassles but it also provides power anywhere, being able to use it outside in the elements as well as inside as well. We've taken our foundational knowledge as the leader in battery technology to design Roll-On from the ground up with every component being purpose-built. Roll-On is designed with a high power inverter to provide 7,200 watts of starting power and 3,600 watts of continuous power to run two high demanding tools at once while charging batteries and USB devices. So just so you know, that's not bad. It's not huge. It's not bad though. 7,500 watts, starting watts, 3,600. That's, that's like a, a large generator. But again, you have to worry about the gas. You don't have to worry about the fumes. Might have to worry about the price. We'll talk about that here in a bit, but let's continue. Roland is equipped with an internal red lithium two and a half kilowatt hour core designed to provide the runtime needed for heavy duty intermittent applications throughout the day. Redlink Intelligence also provides optimized performance, protection, and maximizes the battery life. Roll-on charges in under three and a half hours and provides you 25% charge in less than an hour. So you're hearing that, you might say that that's bad. That's really not that bad. Um... Three, and a, three hours, three and a half hours, whatever it is for that very large bat ray. Uh, what I will tell you is that I got the smaller units, like the 1500 watts, you know, the 2000 watt units, you know, that I brought to the channel. If you were a subscriber, you would know that. Those things take like an hour, hour and a half to charge. And they're very small. This is pretty large. So you might be saying, okay, well, I need this on it. It's going to give you a little bit of runtime as well. Don't forget. But at the same time, you can charge this while you're discharging. 
So you can bring this into the shop. If you already have power at the, the work site, you plug it in and now you can run this continuously while it's charging. You don't have to worry about the noise and the fumes. So that's why I think this is really going to shine. Just trying to keep the DBA down, try to keep the fumes down, the winding down by all the office workers. Roland also provides pass-through power, allowing you to charge and discharge at the same time. Next, we're going to demonstrate the power difference Roland can provide compared to a common gas generator setup. We have 200 feet of extension cord from outside the building running here to this demo. It's important to note we don't recommend this setup based on the length of extension cord, um, but it's often likely to occur based on the setup of each user's truck and the job site conditions you're working in. So the competitive unit that we have outside is similar in continuous wattage, but continuous wattage doesn't tell the whole story of performance. So next we're gonna be cutting four by four inch tubular steel with an abrasive chop saw. Along with that, the large angle grinder is also gonna be grinding that same four by four steel as well. There's a competitive gas unit outside with 200 feet of extension cord leading into the building to simulate what you're experiencing out in the field today. So as you saw there, that generator is having trouble keeping up with the application with just the two tools plugged in because it does not have enough starting watts to keep up. In addition, the voltage drop from the extension cords is also playing into a factor here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to swap over to the roll-on power supply and show the difference of power and why starting wattage is so important. Will it be any better? Let's find out. <sighs> So as you notice with Ron, it's able to cut through the metal much faster, whereas the generator was just spinning on the metal and it wasn't actually cutting any of the material. In addition to the two tools running at the same time, there's also a charger plugged in. So you're having more power drawn from Ron and it's completing the application much faster. Rollon includes two 20 amp duplex outlets and has pure sine wave technology for sensitive electronics. Now, just so you know, pure sine wave, anytime I do one of these battery power station reviews. The only question I get is, does it have pure sine wave? And it's a good question because it's very important. Just to give you an idea, if you are running a regular generator and sometimes you want to plug your phone in or electronics in, if, if that thing surges, right? I'm just going to give you the basic rundown. If it surges, right? You could damage your electronics. It could hurt your electronics, right? Because the surging is coming down, surging, coming down, all that good stuff. Pure sine wave, it will not do that. It will not damage your tools. It will not damage your electronics, which is real nice like. So adding the pure sine wave was a very smart move on Milwaukee IA. Let's continue. In addition to the duplex outlets, Ron also has two USB outlets for charging personal electronics, a high resolution HMI screen showing information about the status of the unit and two charging mounts to charge batteries. To summarize, Roll-On has the best power for the toughest job, instant setup and in eliminating all those hassles, and also provides you power anywhere. All right, let's give you some of the information and the specs that you're looking for. Number one, price. You're looking at $4,500. Don't let that $1 off confuse you. That is $4,500. However, if you're asking is that with the bat ray, the totally, don't worry about it. This is a built-in 2.5K bat ray. So you don't have to worry about the MX fuels or buying anything extra. This is everything you need right out of the box. It's going to go. So you're also going to get the 3,200 starting watts and the 3,600 running watts. 2.5 kWh bat ray power supply. It's a red lithium. I believe it's the red link. So you're going to be able to control this over your phone and see how it's running all that stuff. It's saying that you're going to be able to have two four operators per unit so two through four you're going to be able to run two 20 amp tools off of this at the same time which is pretty real nice like three hours of charge time and again as mentioned that is not that bad considering i have very small units that take <laughs> about an hour and a half to charge so 
three hours, 25% in 35 minutes, but you can keep this plugged in if you're, that's where this is going to shine. If you're messing with somebody solitaire and they're smelling the fumes and they're like, I almost won my solitaire game because I'm an office worker. I'm just letting you know, this is going to be nice for those types of jobs where you don't have those complaints and you maybe you're working with, there's no electricity. You're able to run this for a certain amount of time. So you can charge it. You can discharge it at the same time, which is again, huge. Uh, it's a roll on. <laughs> I love the names. 104 pounds. So it's 80 pounds lighter than comparable gas gener generators. What they're saying, 3.5 all-terrain wheels. You got the IP54 rating, so it's going to be dust and water resistant, which is pretty real nice. Like, you know, again, here's all the information that you need. So I think that a lot of people will like this. I think that this will come in handy in a lot of situations, depending on whether or not you want to spend the $4,500 or not but i do think believe me the headaches from some of the people that you have to work around in those environments complaining about the fumes complaining about you know the noise and all that this might be well worth it because now you don't have to shut down you have to relocate your generator if you can relocate it running the extension cords then you got osha coming in they're like well you got an extension cord running through a door trust me i've dealt with all this stuff so i think this will come in very handy but I want to know what you think. Let me know. Leave me a sweet, sweet comment in that comment section. If you want to see another Milwaukee video, check that out right there. We'll be back. More videos soon.